Hi guys, this is Daniel here from Aspire, and I'm here with... Coach Ice. Absolutely, one of our top coaches here. And in this video, we're going to cover some of those common mistakes mm -hmm. related to the deadlift. Deadlift, right? Yeah, one of the main lifts. Yeah, I call it the marriage lift. It's one of those things that you need to master and never neglect. So, what are the benefits of performing an optimal deadlift? So, uh, for every people, mostly people will expect working on their glutes, but it depends on the variation of deadlift also. If you lift from the floor, it may, bo be, may be more quad involved, depends on the goals, but usually it would be for glute and overall core. Yeah, absolutely. So it is a full body lift that requires full activation, and it is predominantly posterior chain, even though some of that anterior chain is still being engaged. So what are those common mistakes that we often see within a, a deadlift? Um, First thing, people don't know how to maintain their spine. So it means they're going down by rounding their backs and don't know how to move their hips. That's the first one. Absolutely, so a lack of body awareness yeah. because this thoracic extension, it's not just about increasing your movement mastery mm -hmm. because you need to learn to know where you are and how to self-correct when you are under load. Definitely uh, an important one. Yeah. Number two. So they don't know how to stay tight so once they know how to get into the position, but once they load the weight and they don't, they don't know how to stay tight, the, the weight will pull their back round and down. So it means there's not the proper position. Number three, we see just from the setup and how they're producing force from the ground up. So we're gonna be looking at foot positions and how to get more activation throughout that kinetic chain from the ground and be able to maintain it throughout the entire lift. Okay, so let's go to it. Okay, so first point, we're going to cover how to move in deadlift or how to move hips, okay? So like I said, we're not going to focus on moving spine. So I want you to stand tall, Dan. So you're not going to hold the weight with arms. We want to keep it long, okay? So keep your core tight, and I want you to think about slowly move your hips back. Just hips back and just slightly bend your knee after. So use your leg to push the floor and stand up. Okay. So smoothly push your hips back and follow by slight bending on the knees and stand up. One more. Okay. So that's how we move in deadlift. All right, so in this part of the deadlift, we're gonna start from the ground, and we're gonna look at how we can maximize force production by getting a good setup position at the beginning. So keeping that bar nice and close to the shins, what we're gonna do here is you'll see that a lot of common mistakes is people roll their knees in or they're even keeping them straight aligned. What we wanna do is build a bridge through the arch. So we do that with insteps off, and that's gonna help us now point the knees out so we get some external rotation and we're getting some good activation through the hips and that posterior chain. Now when you start with a good activation or an isometric, you can actually create tension before you actually execute the lift. So Ice is pushing his knees out against the forearms so we've got good activation and making sure that he's got good alignment through that thoracic. You'll also notice that his wrists we're keeping them nice and straight. Another common mistake is they're seeing this excessive extension of the wrist in that bar position. So once we've got nice activation, knees are out, everything's active, then we brace, engage, and then move as one. Let's go, drive. Lock it in, shave the shins. Excellent, good. So you see that nice top position at the top of the range. What we're also looking at here is the hips and the shoulders again are moving as one unit. So we can use that coaching cues of bar to knee. So that's the slow concentric phase. And then it's hip to bar. Bam. All right, so that's what we're looking at. Nice and slow controlled on that initial lift. Take it back down. All right, so shaving the shins, keeping that bar close to the shins through the lat and that activation. We're going bar to knee and hip to bar. 
snap. Good, so you want to get that acceleration through that top end of the phase, because the dangerous part of the lift is the beginning. So we want to keep that nice and controlled, maintain, ensure that the client is working and keeping stability throughout that kinetic chain and then drive and get that power at the top. All right, so perfect. Now we're gonna work into how we maintain that activation and stability while under load. So Ice is gonna get into his setup position with the bar. Again, we're working at that activation, that slight pelvic tilt, so we get full activation through the glutes and what we call the four points. So we're bringing the core and the glutes here to maintain that stability. We're activating before we even grab the bar. We've got lower scat position as well, so we can be in a nice, tight, compact position. And then we're gonna reach down and get into our setup. So we practice that hip hinge where we start with the hips. And what we're looking at here before we even start is we've got to get execution and stability throughout the entire chain here. So again, we're gonna push against the floor we can build a little bridge through the arches of our feet. Knees are gonna slightly come out and we're actually creating a small isometric. So we can see he's got his lats active. We've got good thoracic extension, hips are back, bar is over the knees. And now we're gonna keep that bar super close while maintaining full activation through that kinetic chain. So let's drive up, hips and shoulders move as one. And you'll notice at the top of the range, Full scat, retraction, activation, glutes and core maintain that activated state. Let's go slow on the eccentric. So we start with those hips back, control the load, eccentric. We're able to clear the knees, maintain activation and then execute the next lift. All right, hips and shoulders move as one, full activation, chest is open and we've got all this stability and activation through the triceps and the lats as well. You'll notice, because Ice now moves with the hips first, let's go down, he will clear the knees. If you find that you are bumping your knees, it's because you're not getting enough hip movement or enough hinge. So let's go one more rep. Activation, hips and shoulders, shave the shins, nice locked out and activation at the top. Good, take it down and reset. 